Skin Fab is all about looking good and feeling great both inside and out. And if you're not with a fit and fabulous program, well ladies, it's definitely time to get with it. Yup, now's the time for that fit and fabulous change with us. I am Maggie Wilson. And I'm Tereli Garros, and this is Fit and Fab, your ultimate guide to being a better you. Reach for the sky. Dance to the beat. Yeah. Pamper yourself. Go all out. Yeah. Be fit, be fit, be fair. This is your time to be all that. Be fit. and beauty needs. Like a feature on how to be a better swimmer, a guide to dressing for work, complexion complaint solutions, a feature on how we can drink to better health, and a Q&A on nasty foot problems. Mags, I know you swim. You've mm -hmm. been swimming since how old? Since I was five. And um, Long time. I st yeah, I started competing when I was in grade school and high school. Uh, so competitive swimming, yeah. not recreational no, um, survival actually, swimming. Need a fun. Um, competitive swimming and recreational swimming, mm -hmm. there's a fine line between it. There's a difference between So how would you differentiate the two? Well, recreational swimming is basically more um, relaxing, mm -hmm. hindi ka madali. It's more for um, I, I guess when people say that when they want to maximize their pool mm -hmm. time. Some people, you know, when, when they get into the pool to exercise, after one or two laps, they're oh, yeah. But do you think it has something to do with having the correct form? It, yes, it, it really has something to do with having the correct form and as well, you know, knowing your strokes if, if you're doing them correctly. So that's really another big difference. Yes. So if you want to improve your strokes or be a competitive swimmer in your own right, then tonight's Let's Get Physical is just for you. Watch this. Swimming can be a rigorous and effective fitness workout, a great way to cross-train and a fun sport at the same time. Not to mention, it's also a good skill to know as a survival tool for an urgent situation. But the most common purpose for swimming is recreation, with freestyle and breaststroke being the most popular swim styles around. Freestyle, also known as front crawl or side stroke, is a high-intensity workout because it requires you to start off fast and give your body a hard jerk. Kasi ang gusto lang naman eh, to get you from one point to the other eh. Like for example, si swimming kayo tapos napa gusto mong pumunta dun sa area na yun, yung freestyle ang pinakamabilis. Yung hips, kailangan mo mag-swing mag from side to side. Yung shoulders then needs to rotate from side to side. Not to mention the up and down movement ng legs, yung lower leg with, with the hips, and yung alternate movement ni ng arms. Breaststroke, on the other hand, uses a variety of muscles and helps develop flexibility and coordination. Simultaneous yung movement ng legs at saka ng arms, mas madaling gawin. Mahirap lang yan in terms of timing. Pero with regards to yung, yung how it's supposed to be done, dalawa lang ang, ang papansinin mo eh. Kick, pull. Pinoy's are definitely water babies, but while most of us know enough how to save our lives, the question is, how can we get the most out of our pool sessions? The answer? By doing away with bad swimming habits and learning and acknowledging the importance of good for. Sa stroke kasi, uh, two things yan. One is probably the individual was not taught properly how to swim. So pag execute niya ng strokes niya in the water, may kita mo yung movement pa lang ng body. Napansin mo kanina, hindi relaxed, di ba? Wanna swim like Michael Phelps? Here's a few ways how you could be a champion swimmer in your own neighborhood pool. The most common error in freestyle swimming is the arm movement. Kasi yung iba, straight arm, pero nakadrop ang elbows. Okay, pag nakadrop kasi ang elbow, ang tendency niyan, dala ng body yung weight ng arm eh. So it pushes you down. Tapos, at the same time, hindi relaxed. Ang tawag kasi sa above water is recovery eh. Pag recovery, dapat yan relaxed. And even with my competitive swimming background, I was still a victim to wrong arm movements. What I noticed, you were crossing your hands. What do we call that overreaching? Okay, hindi dapat siya nagko-cross. Kasi pag nagko-cross, ang tendency niya, yung body mo moves from side to side. Pag nag-move from side to side, hindi na diretsyo yung swim mo. And it makes you tired. I probably was overreaching kasi yung haba ng arms ko and yun nga, I'm, I'm out of training. I did feel the, the, the movement, you know, from side to side. It wasn't so straight. So, to 
to correct this common mistake, you should keep your hands flat, thumbs separated from the index finger and pull the right arm under the water. Bending the arm at the elbow, bring it alongside your body. As your hand goes past your waist, start straightening it out and keep pushing your hand past your bottom. Pag nilagay mo yun sa loob, mas maganda na yung position niya for contraction of the muscles. At least na execute niya yung, yung stroke in a, in, a, in a correct manner which leads to at least zero injury. Finish the stroke with the right arm brought forward with the elbow out and up and your hand just above the water. And don't forget, for truly effective and efficient freestyling, always straighten your legs, point your toes, and make sure your hips are always at the streamline level of the water. If you've always had trouble breathing while swimming freestyle, don't fret. When it comes to getting some oxygen without swallowing water, the key is all in the head positioning. Coming up for air every two to three strokes is ideal but it's really up to what you're comfortable with. If your head is positioned properly in the water and you do the freestyle, pag turn ng head mo, okay, yung, yung, yung water niyan, kasi dinidivide niya eh, ng head mo eh. Pag divide niyan ganyan, may pocket of air na natitira just in front of your mouth. So you can breathe through that, yung pocket of air na yon, and then bring it down agad. Breaststroke is the only swimming stroke where both the arms and the legs are recovered under the water. The most common error when it comes to this style? Bringing arms out wider than your shoulders. Important lang is yung proper placement ng kamay, yung stroke path ng kamay, and then sa legs naman, yung proper positioning ng feet. Kasi kailangan naka-dorsiflex yan eh. Naka-dorsiflex siya and pointed outside. Para pag-push mo, ito yung magiging surface mo ng pantulak mo ng tubig. So for a better breaststroke, swim with a long glide. And as you kick together, try to stretch your hands further forward. This helps to develop a strong kick and a good streamlined position. Then, follow that up with correct breathing and timing. Habang moving upward siya, that's when you take your breath. Tapos, slowly put your head down again. Ganun din ang recovery naman ng presto. Like I said, practice makes perfect. And in no time, I was like a fish or frog in the water. Yung breaststroke niya was very graceful. In fact, parang hindi siya napagod. Hindi siya tiring. Ganun dapat talaga ang breaststroke. Pag gusto mo ng relaxed stroke, breaststroke out. Galing ko, no? Always remember that perfecting your strokes is something that may take some time, discipline, and practice to develop. While we wholeheartedly encourage you to be regulars at the pool, just be mindful of danger signs like palpitations, loss of breath, or muscle pains. The no pain, no gain cliche is a no-no for swimming. And you've always wanted to improve your pool endurance? Make sure to do swimming drills or laps at least twice a week for 30 minutes to an hour and gradually increase it. And girls, don't forget to hydrate. When you're in the water, it's easy to believe you're not sweating. As in any workout, it's good to constantly hydrate to avoid dizziness, vomiting, and dehydration. You don't wait for your, your body to tell you, I'm thirsty. Kasi ibig sabihin, parang nasa danger zone ka na nun. Basta you keep yourself hydrated, occasionally drink sips of water. You may not be able to win any swimming competitions overnight, but with these tips, you'll definitely get yourself into top form. One stroke and last. Make your wardrobe more work appropriate with a little help from us and Marie Claire, up next on Fit and Fab. And later, don't you know what to do when you have freckles, dry skin and wrinkles? We've got the ultimate guide on what to do when your skin isn't cooperating. Stay tuned. Women have definitely taken to the workforce, entering and at times dominating certain fields such as advertising, sales and law. Different careers definitely call for different dress codes. And on tonight's Fab Guide, we partnered up with Marie Claire to show every working woman out there how to dress stylishly and appropriately for work. For most
most working women with an undeniable sense of style, an office dress code can seem to be a bit of a fashion killjoy. But honestly, this doesn't have to be the case. Who says you have to stick to your dark colored blazer and pencil skirt attire day in and day out? We're here to show you how you can work it in the workplace. Take it from Marie Claire's editor-in-chief, Mirza. Dressing appropriately for work doesn't have to mean looking drab. To dress appropriately, or rather to dress well for work, means looking professional and credible and looking like you can do your job, but still being able to stand out and not look invisible. Dressing the part is just as important as doing your job well. Trust us, you wouldn't want to be caught in these workplace no-nos. Number one is showing too much skin, especially cleavage. Because you're distracting people from the general purpose of uh, the workplace, which is to work. Anything that will cause people to not view you as a credible professional person. So which items should a working woman go for, you ask? As is the first aid for any fashion dilemma, we simply go back to the basics. Combining classics with color and mixing and matching the pieces that we have. For any uh, field, you have to have the basics like a great shirt, a great pair of pants, a great dress, a great jacket, a great bag, a great pair of shoes. But be sure that you have at least one set na good quality talaga, which you can mix with maybe more uh, inexpensive variations. And then try to have like two to three colors para manganganak yung combinations mo. A good rule to follow is to get neutral pants, jacket, and then colorful shirts and dresses and accessories. You too can be business savvy and beautifully stylish with a little on-the-job training on how to dress for success. First is knowing where to go. Here at the Ramp and Crossing Shangri-La Plaza, you'll find a bevy of blouses, skirts, pants, and accessories in sophisticated cuts, delicious colors, and fab prints. Here to help our models get the perfect look for four sample industries is famed fashion stylist Donna Kuna Pita. First on our career hit list, sales. For women in the sales industry, it's important to show your unique sense of style while still sticking pretty close to the practical side. For her, we got this top that's purple, so it's a punch of color without being too loud. And then here, to keep her cool, because shampoo if you're in sales, you move around a lot. So the mesh detail will help her body breathe so it's not too warm. And we got the pearl necklace because it's a good investment piece for working girls. Just a neutral beige pencil cut skirt, a classy faux alligator belt because it will go with everything else also in her wardrobe, dark blue bag that's structured so when she puts her files inside hindi sila malulukot and like basic black pumps so they're not too high so she looks professional without sacrificing comfort have a feel for numbers financial trends investment opportunities and fashion forecasts Credibility is key, especially in the banking industry. For our model here, who's in the banking industry, we have to remember that this is one of the most conservative workplaces that you can go to. But of course, you shouldn't look boring. So, we got her a tailored top with ruffles, pair in an electric blue color, so that she has a pop of color in her neutral outfit. And then we got her, this, this can actually be uh, a dress or it can be a coat with a bow detail. So feminine ka pa rin, and it's a silvery gray color, so there's a bit of shine. We got her basic black slacks and strappy snake skin sandals. Para lang hindi siya magbukang boring. We break it with something sexier at the bottom. And she has a basic Boston houndstooth print bag. Kasi this is a roomy bag where she can put her things for work and she can put her personal things as well. Of course. Advertising and PR is the most fabulous place to work it for the fashion-free spirited. Since she works in the in a creative field, her outfit should reflect her creativity and flair. So for her, we chose a sheer lime top paired with pink leggings. And then we paired it along with something more neutral on top. And then she has white shoes and a classy little bag para hindi naman siya sobrang outrageous tignan. She's 
creative and funky without looking over, over, over the top. So she's memorable, she looks creative, but she still looks like she does a good job. The law profession doesn't have to reflect on your fashion. Command both respect and admiration by upping your style and tea. She needs something structured and a bit conservative. But with, with flair then, instead of like a boring white blouse, we chose a structured blouse, which is also a big trend for follow eight. This is called a Maria Clara top. So you have this very architectural collar. So she has a very strong presence in the courtroom or even for meeting clients. And then to break up her black and white outfit, we chose velvet purple pumps to show character naman, so she doesn't blend with everyone else in her industry. And then we got a structured frame bag. You want to look like you're someone trustworthy without sacrificing your fashion sense also. Who knew that dressing for work could be this interesting? Another fun tip? Try and find some loopholes in your dress code. Analyze your dress code, if any. Let's say it's explicitly stated. Like, there's one company here that said, no armpits and knees. <laughs> so that's a very clear rule, deba. Right? So within that framework, try and uh, look at the trends. For example, if they say pants, it doesn't have to be the normal boring pants, deba. Right? Bakana man pwedeng high waisted, wide legged, deba. Right? Para mo kaka namang up to date. In the end, it's not just about looking good, but the constant need to improve both inward and outward aspects of our daily lives. If you dress well for work, uh, you get noticed. If you get noticed, you get remembered. If you get remembered, you're top of mind, whether it's promotions or uh, succeeding in the corporate ladder. It's better, with all things being equal, if you are as capable as the next person, wouldn't it be better if you're fashionable and if you stand out rather than you're not fashionable and invisible. Pair your passion for work with sartorial expertise and you're definitely going to have an easier time moving up. Don't know what to do when you have freckles, dry skin and wrinkles? Bring out your fab side with our ultimate guide on what to do when your skin isn't cooperating. Coming up next. And later, your next cocktails on us because we show you why alcohol isn't necessarily bad for your health. Stay tuned. Don't know what to do when you have freckles, dry skin, wrinkles? Here's the ultimate guide on what to do when your skin isn't cooperating. Bring out your fab side with a few complexion complaint solutions. What does every woman have in common? The desire for beautiful, flawless skin. While some ladies are luckier when it comes to skin, a lot of us still have to wrestle with complexion complaints like wrinkles, dry skin, and blotches. Well, here's your guide to complexion complaint solutions. Has your skin lost all its glow and vibrancy? Are you a victim of dry, dull, lifeless skin? Apparently, if you're over 18, dry and dull skin is not an uncommon problem. Extremes of temperature can affect the skin. No? It can, so it would result to dryness or dullness. No? And you know, uh, teenagers now or you know, young women would love to be applying a lot of stuff on their face. Stress, an unhealthy lifestyle, and exposure to the harsh elements can definitely leave your skin high and dry. Just ask Fit and Fab friend Olivia, a senior nursing student with a punishing study schedule. Lagi nagpupuyat kami for review, lalo na ngayon malapit na yung board exams. Tapos aside from that, nagko-community services kami, so malimit, nabibilad kami sa araw. Kaya yun, uh, malimit dry yung skin ko. If your complexion complaint is dull and dry skin, then look out for products which contain alpha hydroxy acid or arginine. These ingredients provide the necessary vitamins that can add sparkle to your skin. Use the very, very mild um, cleanser, not the soap type but a liquid one. Apply the moisturizer containing mga urea, containing mga glycolic acids or uh, containing glycerin. While the ready answer to dull and dry skin is to moisturize and hydrate your skin as much as you can, what does one do when your cream doesn't go the distance? Easy! Head to the derma! 
Before Olivia's dull and dry skin dilemma, Doc Elaine recommended the collagen mask treatment, a treatment that boasts of bringing back the smoothness and radiance of skin. The procedure was simple. First, a cleansing vanishing cream was applied coupled with a soothing massage that promotes circulation and oxygenation. Afterwards, the collagen mask is applied, given an extra boost by the galvanic machine. 30 minutes later, Olivia definitely felt the difference. It's relaxing the whole procedure. And with professional hydrating and moisturizing treatments like the collagen mask treatment, your skin will look light and bright in no time. Wrinkles, an inevitable sign of aging. You develop uh, wrinkles and lines when uh, the second portion of the skin, which is the dermis, loses the cushioning effect like the collagen and the elastic fibers. For wrinkling of the skin like Beth, check out creams or serums with urea, lactic acid, or hyaluronic acid. These ingredients draw moisture into the skin and prevent new lines from forming. But just because we can't stop aging, it doesn't mean we can't delay it. Thanks to technology, there are a lot of anti-wrinkle treatments out there that are guaranteed to erase lines and slow down time. So if you want to get rid of very deep lines, you know, the frown lines over here, you just uh, inject Botox and uh, for the next six months, you'll have no frown lines. Lasers. Lasers have been used now to also lay down or remodel collagen, so it actually rejuvenates the skin. And for the latest in ironing out wrinkles, Dr. Lonabel recommended the Pixel Skin Resurfacing Treatment. The Pixel, which actually ablates the skin or uh, causes a thermal injury to the skin so that it will uh, promote the normal healing process and uh, it will trigger the natural response of our skin. In Pixel Resurfacing, the eyes were first covered to protect it from the laser. The Pixel machine was then used to burn off those wrinkles and age spots. So, I was able to get out of the way. At the time, I was able to get out of the way. I was able to get out of the way. And I was able to get out of the way. I was able to get out of the way. So, if you want to erase wrinkles in a cinch, then you should definitely try out other laser resurfacing treatments. With all these treatments and product options, Fit and Fab still believes that the best solution to your skin problems is prevention. It's a rule of thumb to avoid sun exposure and use sunscreen daily. At the end of the day, your skin will definitely thank you. Up next on Fit and Fab, we show you how you can toast to your good health with your favorite alcoholic beverage. And later, banish those bunions, corns, and colossus once and for all. We show you how on tonight's Q&A. Stay tuned. Hey, Kyle Mags, what is your drink of choice? Hmm. Alcoholic, anybody water. <laughs> well, you know, I'm a big fan of red wine, but if you ask me about hard drinks, I like vodka. Ikaw. Ako rin vodka, okay siya. Pero talaga ngayon, tequila. After Mexico, era dura especial. The oh, best. Sobra sarap. Tequila? You're crazy. No, it's really good. Oh my God. Ikaw, there, what do you think are the misconceptions associated mm. with drinking? Well, I think people in general say that drinking is bad. But mm -hmm. I think it's only wrong if you drink too much. Exactly. in excess. Diba? Exactly. You know, too much of everything is not so good. Plus, yung the fact that a lot of people say na nakakabado siya. Beer, beer. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's only because when you drink beer, but if you drink hard drinks, I don't think so. So, you like to knock back a few drinks after a hard week with your girlfriends? I mean, who doesn't, right? A couple of glasses of wine, vodka, or scotch on a Friday night gimmick is a great stress reliever. And guess what, ladies? That's not the only reason why alcohol is actually good for you. Fit and Fab tells us how we can all drink to our health. Cheers! Attention, wine, beer, and cocktail drinkers. Do you know that medical studies show that a little sip or a little chug is actually good for your health? Yes, doctors and nutritionists say that moderate drinking will do us good. So, here's a toast to our health. 
alcohol found in wine, beer, martini, and other cocktail drinks do contain certain properties that can reduce the risk of heart diseases, strokes, diabetes, and a lot more, even common colds. Alcohol is found to have cardioprotective properties. It, it is also found to have stress-relieving properties, and it is uh, also found to have antioxidant properties. Don't believe us? Studies show that the healthiest people do include moderate drinking in their lifestyle. Wine is a very natural drink. It's made of, made from grapes, only grapes. There are little things like um, a little of preservatives, a little of yeast, but those are just all natural um, ingredients. So it's very healthy for us. Yes, the benefits we get from a simple glass of wine goes on. Medical studies also show that those who consume two to three glasses of alcoholic beverages a day have 85% more resistance to colds, flu, and other common illnesses. But before we unscrew that bottle of wine or open that bottle of beer, you have to understand that drinking for better health does not give us a license to binge. Have you ever heard of the phrase, drink moderately? Moderation is generally described as one to three drinks per day. A drink is defined as 12 ounce can or bottle of beer, five ounce glass of wine, and 1.5 ounce uh, glass of liquors. Above this recommended level, alcohol may pose negative effects to our health and may even lead to alcoholic addiction. Excessive consumption of alcohol may lead to serious health problems which includes um, cancer of the pancreas and liver, um, heart damage leading to heart failure, and then if you're pregnant it may lead to uh, miscarriage and fetal alcohol syndrome. So for us to reap alcohol's benefits, it's best to stay within the limits. Beer, ale, vodka, rum, red or white wine, these are all the staples of any bar list. But sometimes with a huge selection of cocktails and drinks, how can we choose to truly drink healthy? Interestingly, all forms of alcohol have ethanol, the ingredient that adds the health benefits. So whatever drink you choose, you'll likely get the same positive effects. But there are some alcoholic drinks, especially when combined with sugar or juices, that may ruin our diet and balloon our caloric intake. Nutritionists' best alcohol bets are still red wine and that plain old beer. But remember to go light. Going light means cutting off a third of regular beer calories. A bottle of light beer generally contains less than 100 calories. But red wine still makes it to the top of our health experts and connoisseurs list. Drinking wine often goes with eating good, healthy food like pasta, red meat and salads. As compared to the junk-loaded chips and greasy pizza that goes so well with beer. Here at Wine Depot in Makati, we have found a wide selection of the best, the sweetest, and the healthiest wines. The selection starts from yeah, New World wines coming from New Zealand, Australia, South Africa. We have uh, Chilean wines. We do have wines from the States, France, Spain, Germany. Aside from getting all the good things in wine, drinking wine is simply pleasurable. Best way to enjoy your wines is with food. So of course when you're having a party, you have drinks and you have food. Um, yeah, it's just a matter of doing, making the right pairing of food and wine and your dining experience will just be complete with a glass of wine. Here at Wine Depot, not only can you enjoy their wines, but you can also have them with superb, delicious and healthy food. And here, the chef whipped up fresh, healthy eats for me to go with my wine list. So the spicy Thai chicken salad is supposed to go with uh, the Gewürztraminer. It's a German white wine, which they say has a very sweet flavor. So let's try it. The, the grape itself is, a, as I said, it's a kind of spicy grape with some floral flavor. So you have rose petals in there, you have uh, lime, you have also peach, uh, melon. And the Gewürztraminer is very, very well with, uh, with spicy food. Mm -hmm. Let me see sweet wine. To go with a pumpkin soup, which is a cream soup, we're going to try the Chardonnay. It's also a white wine and they say it has a creamy, buttery flavor, so it's supposed to complement. For a Chardonnay, something also um, a food with, uh, with, with a bit of texture, some, some creaminess, butterness uh, to, to support the wine. 
actual tea. So this time we're trying the lamb shang and we're trying it with the Barossa Shiraz. It's a type of red wine and they say it's a very fruity and spicy in flavor. So you can imagine it's spicy, but I'll let's try it. So you need a food which uh, which again also goes along with it. So we have a stew with a, with a sauce and some, some candied uh, fruit um, flavors in it. So to, to, to balance the fruit and the spiciness. So last time talaga yung distinct taste ng lamb, pero masarap siya kasi matamis yung wine. So parang nababalance siya. Wine shops like Wine Depot aim to cultivate the culture and the habit of healthy wine drinking. And with the numerous health effects of alcohol, let's raise our glass and say cheers to our heart, pancreas, and to feeling great all around. Drinking now doesn't need an occasion. Drinking within our limits, one to three glasses a day, means celebrating good health and the good life. Cheers! Banish those bunions, corns, and colossus once and for all. We show you how on tonight's Q&A. Coming up next... Max, do you love to wear heels? Um, no, not really, but when we were doing the whole beauty queen thing, oh. we had to wear heels oh, every for necessity. <laughs> yeah, but nowadays, not so often. Means and means lang. But mm -hmm. you naman, you do feel sexy. Yeah, right? yeah, I do feel really sexy when I throw on a pair of heels. Actually, and when I heels, I'm really heels. Yep, three to four inches. Me actually. too. But it's hard because the heels, it comes with like corns, bruises, yeah. little piles, not, little heels. Ka. Not so glamorous. <laughs> Well, ladies, it's time we take care of our poor, battered feet. Common foot problems solved on tonight's Q&A. Our poor feet. Every day, we subject them to varying degrees of abuse. Whether it's wearing too tight shoes, really uncomfortable stilettos, or walking around the mall for hours, our feet are often neglected. And when corns, calluses, blisters, and cracked heels start to appear, you know that your feet are signaling an SOS. Cracked heels are referred to as fissures or hard growth of skin found on the soles of the feet. They're usually accompanied by dry skin. Cracked heels is caused usually by prolonged standing or walking. Um, it is also caused when uh, the footwear isn't so comfortable. So when they're ill-fitted, they're too tight or too loose, pwedeng magkaroon din ng cracked heels. Common din yan dun sa mga patients na nagsusuot ng mga sling back na, na shoes. Yikes! So who'd want a cracked heel? So what's the right way of treating them? Cracked heels are best treated if they are moisturized. So in applying a moisturizer para matreat yung dryness. Also, uh, maganda kung yung footwear mo ay komportable rin. One that is neither too loose nor too tight. So if you have a cracked heel problem, head over to your local pharmacy or beauty store. There are heaps of products there that can help you get rid of cracked heels. First would be the rough skin remover. So it exfoliates the dry skin on the feet. And then after that, we can moisturize the feet with softening lotion. Another common foot problem are blisters. A blister is a bubble of fluid under the outer layer of skin caused by friction from shoes or clothing, which rubs repeatedly on the skin, causing friction burns. Blisters, as with the cracked heels, is common when the shoes are ill-fitted. It occurs also if um, the patient is sensitive to some materials used in the shoe, like leather maybe or suede. Um, common din yan, pag medyo bago yung shoe, tapos na abrade yung skin against it, yan, nagkakaroon ng blisters. It is common in people who are engaged in sports, um, especially those or yeah, exactly, runners, those who hike, those who, again, are prone to prolonged standing or walking or running. Blisters are painful and nasty, so it's best to avoid getting them. To prevent that, again, uh, a comfortable or comfortably fitted shoe is essential. Meron yan either nilalagay dun sa, sa back, meron nilalagay sa heel, or dun sa balls ng feet para ma-prevent yung mga... Uh, yung blistering. Feet are supposed to be kept as dry as possible. So whenever necessary, the socks should be changed. Um, the, the toes, especially the ones in between, they should be dried. Foot powders may be applied para yun ang mag absorb sa sweat. But if you're prone to blisters, don't deal with them the wrong way. Hindi siya pwedeng 
chocolate treat or a puncture on your own kahit na ang needle mo ay pinaraan mo sa flame. Kasi hindi yun guarantee na sterile na. Ang better na gawin, um, pwedeng maglagay ng uh, salt and water compress dyan. Meaning, in one liter of boiled water, pwede maglagay ng one tablespoon of rock salt. Tapos, iwi-wet ang sponge, tapos i-apply sa area na, na kung saan may blister. There are also a number of products in the market that can help you with treating them. Kinakabit siya sa shoes or sa skin para hindi magform ang blisters. And then we also have the gel type for the uh, blisters para hindi siya magrub dun sa shoes. And yun ding conditions uh, na pinaform ng blister plaster na yun, nag-help siya para mag-heal kaagad yung blisters. See how easy it is to be blister-free? Mga corns, they are smaller. Also, meron siyang parang hard na center surrounded by skin that is inflamed, parang maga yung balat na nakapaligid. They occur in those areas that do not bear any weight. Meaning yan yung sa ibabaw ng toes or dun sa gilid. Ang callus naman, it is actually a rough thickened patch of skin. Yaan, it occurs kung saan may pressure. So meaning sa soles yan, usually the balls or the heels. How to treat them? To prevent them again, you know, well-fitted, comfortable shoes are a must. Um, it is said that if you try on a shoe and you can't move your toes, it means it's too tight. So you shouldn't be buying that at all. Or if you really, if you really should purchase the shoe, pwede siyang stretch ngayon. Merong mga shops na nag-offer ng ganong services para komportable siya all around. Or you can wear some cushioning pads and insoles that you can easily find in the market. We have air pillow insoles, so buong pa yung kinokosyon niya. But we also have options para dun sa mga tao na gusto lang makosyon yung heel nila or yung balls ng foot. My best bit of advice, just take good care of your feet. We'd like to say thank you so much to everyone who dropped by last September 20th for FinFab Day at Glorietta 3. And judging from the number of guests who enjoyed indulging in their beauty and health needs, we could say that FinFab Day was a huge success. Well, thanks so much to everyone who came out and supported us. It was really great meeting everyone there. To those who weren't able to show their support in person, believe me, your emails are always welcome. Write to us at fitandfab at gmanetwork.com. Once again, I'm Tarali Caros. And I'm Maggie Wilson. Join us again next week, same time, same day. Only here on... Fin and Fab. Fab.